Trina almost died, guys. <laughs> Johnny Depp had a house here. Oh, there it goes. Good morning! Good morning. <laughs> Mom, you appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to London Day 5. five. I want to cry. It is raining outside. It's our Stonehenge tour today. Hey. We all woke up really early. What time did you wake up? Four. What time did you wake up? Four. I woke up at 4.40. We're off to an early start. We're going to walk to the tube station, take the train all the way to the meetup place. The meetup is still at 7.30. It's currently 6.45, but we want to make sure we're there early. Come along with us. I'm going to vlog when I'm already there because I don't want to vlog in the rain. See you guys there! 7.59 a.m. We're on the coach now. We made it to the station. It took like 20 minutes from our place, which was fantastic. City Mapper, best app ever. Please get it if you're coming to London. We've got our audio guides. I'm here with Mom. And Trina's over there. We made a couple of friends as well. The Rowan friend of us. They're also two sisters and their mom. They're from New York. Hey! There's her sister. It's an hour and a half, I think, to our first destination. And then from there, we take a break. And then it's an hour and a half again. Are you excited, mommy? According to Puya, it's supposed to be good weather when we get there. So let's hope for the best because right now it's raining. I told everybody to bring their water jugs and I forgot mine. <laughs> Windsor's the first stop. It goes Windsor, Bath, and then Stonehenge. Our tour guide, Nicholas, is so funny. Like, he is so witty. He has so many different tidbits for us. It's really, really cool. Also, they each gave us these little guys. Now, these little guys we have to bring with us when we go to each of the stops because it's a great way for us to be able to hear Nicholas. So when he's talking to us or giving us little facts or trivia, we can hear him. He doesn't have to shout. We don't have to be like, what did you say? We can all hear it. So we've each got one. And this tour bus is great as well because there's a charging port so we can actually charge our gadgets so we won't have a problem with that. group with us and Nicholas is talking to us about everything. That's it over there. This is Windsor Castle, the Queen's Castle. I'm excited to see it. We're one of the first groups so Nicholas said that that's so great because that means that we don't have to queue for very long and we get to spend more time inside the castle so unfortunately <laughs> the chapel is closed but the state rooms are open so we're gonna get to see all of the state rooms inside Windsor. It's nice and cold though yeah. and it's not raining guys. Praise God that I got it was raining in London but not raining here. Hopefully it stays that way. One of the oldest post boxes. So this building was built crooked. <laughs> Walking through a quaint little town, like through little side streets. 
and we are almost by the castle. It's cobblestones though. I do advise if you're gonna be doing this tour, please don't wear heels or uncomfortable shoes because you will die. Oh my gosh, look. We quickly left our tour group. We're going to use the bathroom. I'm so happy because we met Maria, her mom and her sister, and they're just the sweetest ladies. It's nice to make friends at a tour, you know? The queue is gonna take about 30 minutes, which is why this is the perfect time to use the bathroom. Oh, it's, thank you. <laughs> Everyone is so helpful here. They're like, oh, it's over there, dear. Windsor making our way to the castle. even inside the castle yet and everything is so picturesque they're marching look we're walking towards the guards because i want to take an actual video i don't even know if you guys can hear me if you can't i'm sorry it's freaking beautiful here <laughs> state apartments mom's just resting on a bench for a bit how is any of this real like it looks like a freaking movie set and the view like there's just trees everywhere the castles up there wow are you sprained do we have an injury i didn't catch it on camera finished up the tour of Windsor Castle we got to see all of the state apartments but unfortunately we couldn't take any pictures or any videos so I could get to show you guys just how beautiful each of the rooms were and grande doesn't even begin to cover it floor to ceiling everything was decorated there were tapestries from hundreds of years ago paintings by Ruben everything in there the Queen's private China collection incredible everything was just so well kept and maintained. There are no words to describe just how rich in history the UK is and to be able to go on a tour like this really just I understand also why you can't take pictures or videos because well it'll hold up the line for one thing but it'll also sort of ruin the experience. I'm here with my girls. Come here girls. So we're back. Trina almost died. <laughs> She almost fell from ancient steps. <laughs> Don't hurry, Trent. Just think about it this way. Many a duke and duchess probably. Tr <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that kid was just like. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Mom, did you enjoy it? Yeah. Telling That's them that beautiful. I was just telling them that it's so incredible, and there's just absolutely no way to describe it other than that because it's like private artwork, fine china, the rooms were so decorated. Just think how many royals and important people walked through those halls, uh -huh. touched those walls, looked into those mirrors, slept in those beds, sat in those chairs. Died there. Died there. <laughs> Pretty Mormon bomb.
and Dum Dum Donuts. Famous donuts. Wow. For a box of three, six and nine. We'll get a box of three. What, what do you guys do? want? If you're a fan of UK vloggers like I am, you'll know that Zoella, Tanya Burr, a bunch of them get donuts from Dum Dum. We got some to try. I don't think I properly got to show you guys because we were in a mad rush, but here are our Dum Dum donuts. I went for the blueberry cream. Mom has the yum yum, which has dulce de leche. And Trina has the hazelnut cronut. These look amazing. about two hours on the coach. Mom and Trina slept. <laughs> you were snoring. Just so you know. Kind of hard to crawl on top of mom and then Anna to, to get to you. But Jane Austen's house is just a few streets away. I am this close to just like leaving the tour and looking for it. We actually have entrance to the Roman baths. That's the tour that we got. Yeah, we have it. <laughs> Surprise! We're gonna check that out. And then we have free time to walk around. So we might do the bridge. What's the bridge called again? He kept saying the name. It's like one of the few bridges that... Oh. Here are the Roman baths. Wow, they look not clean. <laughs> so we're gonna head outside and check out the Roman baths. Ooh! Fun fact for you guys about the Roman baths. As per our tour guide, they closed the baths in the late 70s, early 80s because it turns out there was a guy who decided to go swimming, contracted meningitis, and then he died. That's why they ended up closing it to the public. It was closed for a while and then they, they opened it up again but now nobody's allowed to drink or touch or play in the water. Chilling by the sacred spring with mom and Trina. What's good? Look at this super cute baby. Do you want to try it? Just finished up at the Roman baths. Now we're going to explore a little bit of the entire area, like the abbey and then the bridge. And then we might try to look for Jane Austen's house as well. It's so beautiful here. Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein here in the pump room. Right here. 
cute little gift shop. Do you see the bulldog? The bull. So now we're in the Bath Abbey. Wow. They're only open for another five minutes, so. <laughs> so many different stained glass windows. There's a Sunday service. Now we're making our way to Pulteney Bridge. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm probably not, but it's one of the few bridges in the world that actually have buildings on it. Hair all over my face. How are you girls enjoying the tour so far? Very much. You like it? Like We're practicing our British accents for when we move here. So brang sulit tong tour na to, kasi we've already seen Windsor, and then now we're finishing up at Bath, which, by the way, so brang ganda. If you're really into classic infrastructure and like beautiful architecture, this is the place to go. Every single area, so brang picturesque niya. And that's where we're headed, Pulteney Bridge. With just a bus, you can travel to all these places that look so different from each other. Yeah. And then they each have their own little story. Like Bath. So many brilliant authors came here. Some of them actually lived here. Some died here. Johnny Depp had a house here. Nicolas Cage had a house here. Look, the pigeons are having a man con. <laughs> and out of all of the things that mom wants to comment about the beautiful city of Bath, we're gonna talk about the fact that the pigeons are wow. They fly really, really low. Here's the bridge. and we are currently making our way towards the shuttles. Our tour guide will be coming with. He will be joining us once we get there and give us a little bit more insider scoop. Some people think it's a burial ground. Other people think that the stones had magic. There were so many bodies buried that they found gold and axes. And it's crazy. It's crazy. I apologize in advance for my, the scene of my hair. Oh, there it goes. You get to Stonehenge, you actually have to take like a tiny little shuttle bus that takes you to the stones right over there. How are we actually seeing this? There they are! Center. I don't know if you guys can hear me. We chose to do the walking around, and by we, I mean me. So we've got this huge field to walk back to the visitor center. And what was your question? There's a zombie apocalypse. What are we gonna do? Where would we run? I would run towards the trees and climb up a tree. Can you climb a tree? I don't know. We can find out. <laughs> Go to the burial mound. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. I would throw both of you towards the. Oh, thanks a lot, Carl. I think we're. 